Happy Halloween everyone, StuDog here, and today I'm going to be doing my Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch for November 2016. So the past couple of weeks there's been some huge card price changes, especially on random cards that were going for less than a dollar to just a few bucks have been skyrocketing lately. And starting things off, i got to start with the Ultimate Rare Photon Thrashes from Master Pack 1. Even the rares from Star Pack 2014 and its original printing in Order of Chaos have just been skyrocketing lately. I mean, the Ultimate Rare ones, this was... <laughs> just a forgotten card. I completely forgot this even was an Astro Pack Ultimate Rare just because it came out so long ago and, you know, hasn't been meta since Stratos has been legal. That's the last time I can remember, but Photon Thrasher, a $70 Ultimate Rare out of Astro Pack 1. Yeah, it was 60 a couple days ago and I was shocked, and now it's 70 That's crazy. I mean, you know, the ABC's topping a whole bunch at that YCS Liverpool and in the past regional circus, the most represented deck at the YCS Liverpool, so, I mean, if you want to hollow out your ABC deck, I mean, be my guest and spend $140 on a playset of Ultimate Rare Photon Thrashes, and if you're a budget player, you're still going to have to waste $18 on a playset of Rare Photon Thrashers, which a card was going for a buck fifty at the most, you know, a few weeks ago, or even like a few months ago, so that's just crazy right here, just Ultimate Rare Photon Thrashers, so it was like, what, $15 a couple months ago at the most? Like, I don't even remember, but I know it was nowhere near 60 that's for sure but dang it's just crazy how you know one deck can make a random ultimate rare go up so much in price going on to some random cards like cat shark now who remembers cat shark yeah not a whole lot of people here this was like going for a quarter a couple weeks ago no joke this card i remember i traded for one a long time ago like a very long time ago like more than a year ago just because i thought the artwork was cool and I knew it was going for like 50 cents a quarter at the most, and now it's like $3, you know. Rank 2's have been going up lately because of that totally awesome hype, that Treat Toad hype. This card is really good and for Treat Toad because, I mean, the effect helps out, you know, water materials, which is what all the frogs are, you know, the level 2 frogs like Swap Frog and Dupe Frog, Rodent Toad, and those level 2 waters. So, I mean, Catch Shark going to be pretty nice, and I could easily see this card go up even more from $3 to $5. So, I mean... If any of you guys have some cat sharks laying around, congratulations, you just made a, a decent chunk of money. <laughs> Cause, I mean, this is just a card that has hilarious artwork that just everyone forgot about and has never seen any competitive play whatsoever. But here we go, cat shark for the win. Congratulations, guys. Going on to terraforming, so the super rare terraformings, I know they were always a decent chunk of money. Another random card that came out of the first Astro Pack, I know it was like 5 to $7.00 a few months ago and now it's twenty five twenty two dollars for just one super rare terraforming so oh, that's just pretty crazy and all the other printings of terraforming are still you know two dollars a buck fifty like the cheapest here in tcg players so, i mean you're still gonna have to waste quite a bit of money just for a place at a common terraforming but i mean again if you want to hollow out your abc deck of course abc's their field spell is just busted you're gonna have to you know spend seventy five to sixty dollars on a play set of Hollow terraforming. So I believe this is the only hollow printing of this card in the Astro Pack one. Yeah, the only one showing on TCG Player is the Astro Pack Super Rare. So yeah, kind of unfortunate for all those guys that want to hollow out their ABC decks. You're gonna have to waste a whole bunch of money on those Ultimate Rare Photon Threshers and the uh, terraformings. And speaking of other stuff you want to get for ABCs, hey, how about Pagente Tsukiyomi, a card that was a buck fifty at the most a couple months ago. Like, seriously. I had, like, three of these laying around. They weren't even in my trade binder. They were just in uh, my bad hollow stash because no one ever wanted these. No one ever <laughs> was interested in these. I mean, this card was good in Satellar Knights, was never even used in Bujins. And ever since Satellar Knights fell off the radar, like, no one has been using this card lately. But with the hype of ABCs, this card is skyrocketed $25 for a mega pack promo just to think of this card never would have got printed in the 2014 megatons this card could easily be like $30 from Legacy of the Valiant so that's just some crazy stuff right here I mean they only need like what two they don't need three they need like one or two you can get away with one but sometimes it could be nice to have the second Pregente Tsukiyomi for those random situations but dear lord this card is just skyrocketed lately just flat out skyrocketed it was like a buck fifty to three dollars at the most a couple months ago that no one wanted and no one ever wanted to trade. It was so hard to move. But for all the guys who had a decent chunk of these, you could just easily I mean if you had four of these laying around, you just made a hundred dollars right there, so that's just crazy stuff. Going on to the Majesty's Pegasus, so Magispector's doing well at that 
YCS a couple weeks ago. They didn't do as well at the YCS Liverpool, but hey, they're still a decent deck, especially with the new card right here called Ties of the Breath. And I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, Magic Spectre Pegasus card that did not get reprinted in those Megatons, 2060 Megatons. So that's kind of unfortunate. Don't really know why. Okay, now it's showing the price, but. <laughs> yeah, a card that didn't get reprinted in the Mega Tens, and because of that, it is now a $8 Super Rare, so you're going to have to be wasting $24, $25 for a play set of these. And of course, you have to play three to <laughs> play the Magic Specters. So, I mean, there you go. Eight, ten dollars at the, or $8 at the cheapest, and around that $10 range right here. So, there's the Magic Specter Field Spell. Other stuff like Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, which was going for, you know, 10 to $15 after it lost its hype a few months ago. But now it's creeping back up to that 40 to even $50 range here. Crazy. I mean, it's really good against ABCs. Get rid of all their busters. And, I mean, that's like their number one card. You can get rid of all the busters. And congratulations. And it's still good against PK Fire to get rid of the Dantes, too. So, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you want it? Other stuff like Solemn Strike. Despite it getting reprinted in the 2016 Megatons, it's still a $30 card. Yeah, 30 to $35. So, that's just crazy here. And I know when Solemn Strike first got reprinted, the pre-orders were even like $20. This card even went down to, I would think, 17 was the lowest I saw it at, but now it's creeping up to $30. So, I mean, hopefully you guys picked up your Solemn Strikes when they first got the reprint in the Mega Packs, because I thought for sure this card was just going to stay at $20 at the most, but dang, it's... Dang, even the reprinted versions are just way too much for me. I'm just saying. Going on to Transmodify... Another random card that some ABC decks have been playing. Not a whole lot that I've been seeing, but, I mean, it still was good and, you know, was not a whole lot when it first got reprinted, but has still always been $10 over the past couple of months just because of the ABC deck hypes. I mean, that's pretty nice. Minerva, of course. The Minerva Lightsworn deck has been topping YCSs recently for people who actually have Minervas. Now, if you don't have Minerva, then you can't really play this deck to its full potential. I mean, cards like Fairy Tale Snow make this deck a lot better as well, and it's still a thousand dollars for the super rare YCS championship card. Now the ultra rare, there's none in stock. The last time I checked on eBay, it was I think two thousand, but I mean for the super rare, it's still going to be a thousand dollars. So that's yeah, a lot of money for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Utopia the Lightning has not skipped a beat as well as it is still. So much money, $25 for the Ultra Rare, and even for the Special Edition European Exclusive, it's still way too much money. Like, dear lord, who would pay $15 for a Special Edition promo? <laughs> Not me. But then again, if you, I mean, this card's really good, it's generic, you have to pay it, and <laughs> you have to play it, and I mean, I guess you have to pay the price of either $25 or $15, $16. I mean, I guess you're going to have to waste you know, $16 for a freaking special edition promo. So sad that they had to make this European exclusive. Like, really, Konami? But what you're going to do? Ties of the Breath in, of course. Legendary Dex 2, a really busted card to Magic Specters. Very busted. A promo, not really that hard to get, but still quite a bit of money. 8 to $10, so kind of unfortunate there. And the last card I want to talk about is the Barrier Statue of the torrent, a random common out of Cyber Dark Impact was probably going for 50 cents or 12 cents. Here, as you see, the other barrier statues, I mean, that's like 12 cents, 26 cents. I mean, this was card is probably going for like 25 cents a couple months ago, but with that treat toad hype, you could tech this in and your treat toad totally awesome decks. And you know, not allowing your opponent to special summon is pretty good the last time I checked. So, I mean. It's gone up from a quarter all the way up to 2 to $3, and of course it's never had a legitimate reprint, so it's still going to be this much, and if this card catches on as like a good side deck option to use in your Treat Toe decks, and I could easily see it go up to even a $10 common, so you might as well pick them up now while you still can, because I could easily see this card go up a lot more, and of course I don't see it getting a reprint anytime soon, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this Market Watch as always. Have a happy, happy Halloween. Thankfully, this video wasn't 10 minutes. I try to go as fast as I can, but it's, there's just so much to talk about. And yeah, I know I could have easily added a whole bunch of more stuff to talk about, but it's okay, because next week we're going to have the Invasion Vengeance um, Market Watch as well. So look forward to that next week. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.